Hello everybody, Leo Laporte here. Time once again for Hands on Mac, and this time we're gonna show you the single most powerful feature of the Macintosh operating system. Hands on Mac comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remote, visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This, this is Twit. twit. This episode of Hands on Mac is brought to you by Hover. Use a domain name that truly represents you and your passion. Visit hover.com slash twit to get 10% off your first purchase on any domain extension for the entire first year. Hands on Mac time. Hello, everybody. I'm Leo Laporte. This week, we want to start talking about the terminal. A lot of the things I'm going to talk about on Hands on Mac will involve use of the terminal. The key thing to understand here is that the Macintosh, while a graphic operating system with menus and windows, is based on Unix, and it has an underlying command line. Now, if you're saying, well, so does Windows, I've used the DAW shell. Oh, no, 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 this is a lot more powerful. The command line on Macintosh can do an awful lot. And if you're a developer, a security expert, if you're just somebody who likes to geek out, Getting into the command line and the terminal on Macintosh is a really great idea. Now, I want to show you the terminal that comes with the Macintosh, and then I'm going to tell you why you don't want to use it. So let me, let me launch the Macintosh terminal app. It's an okay app. Uh, it can be configured to be more powerful and more useful. But honestly, I prefer a different app. It's called iTerm2. It is free, it's open source, and it is the most powerful terminal available for the Macintosh. There are other terminals as well. Uh, let me let me launch iTerm and I'll show you uh, some of the things I do with iTerm too. And, and by the way, you might want to install this to follow along because over time we're going to be doing a lot more uh, with the command line. I think that knowing how to use the command line is a really great way to uh, be able to become a professional uh, Macintosh user and a true geek. So here's the terminal. You'll notice a couple of things. You can't see this on, uh, there you go, you can see it on this screen. Uh, iTerm has a lot of additional features. I've turned on one of them that allows me to see how much battery is left, CPU, how much memory, upload and download, the time and date. I like having that. You don't have to turn that on. I'm also running a program which I downloaded and I'll show you how to do that next week from Brew. It's called NeoFetch. NeoFetch gives you a little Apple logo. It works on most Unix devices and it gives you the appropriate logo for your operating system and tells you a little bit about the operating system, what version, what hardware, how long it's been up. Uh, 13 days for this MacBook Pro since last reboot. That's actually uh, pretty typical. The processor and memory and, and so forth. That's called NeoFetch. It's a nice little program that many Unix systems have or uh, they have something analogous to it. You'll see the command line here. This is a very sparse command line. It just shows me a tilde, a dollar sign, and then I can start typing. Uh, that's where your work will happen, at the command line, and you'll be typing out commands. If you've used Windows before, you might say, okay, I know a few of them, how about dir? Well, there is no dir in Linux. Instead, there's a list command, ls, which will give you a listing. And list has a lot of different uh, features. This is a list of all the files in the directory. If I do dash a, it'll give me uh, the hidden files as well. If I do ls dash la, it'll give me a long listing that includes permissions. We'll understand a little bit more about this as time goes by. Who owns the file, the date the file was last modified, and time and then the file name. All of this can be useful as you're working. You may know the CD command. That lets me change directories. So you'll see I have a number of directories here. If I want to go to my applications directory, I type CD and applications, and it'll go there. And if I type a LS to see what applications I have, there's just a couple in this one. Oh, because this is my personal applications. If I do CD slash applications, 
That'll take me to the system applications. It'll be a lot longer list now when I do LS. Those are the applications I have installed. And one of the things you'll notice immediately is, oh, what's that .app? You're going to see a little bit more about these files than you normally see in the Macintosh Finder because you're in the command line. You're not protected. That's an important thing to note. You can also do things like delete files, delete directories, even delete your entire hard drive from the command line. So it's really important before you start going crazy with the command line that you learn a little bit about it. It's a great tool to have. So your assignment this week is to download iTerm and install it, play with it a little bit, LS, CD, you can make a dir with MKDIR. Uh, you can, uh, you know, start... Anytime you want to know what a command is, if I'm going to go back to my home directory right now, so I'll type CD. Anytime you want to know what a command does, you could type the word man and the name of the command. So if I type man ls, I'll get a manual page with all of the different settings you can do with ls, spacebar pages to the next page, and Q quits out of the manual. That's a really handy command, too. There are a lot more commands, quite a few commands. We're going to talk more and more about them. We'll also talk more about the command we used last week, sudo, the, the uh, switch to super user mode that allows you to have even more power on the command line. In my opinion, the main reason I love the Mac and the main reason a lot of people, including a lot of developers, use Macs is because of the command line, the ability to get below the windows and the menus and start really working at the command line is what makes the Macintosh such an exciting and powerful computer. Ease of use with the GUI, but real power with the command line. So download iTerm. Next week, I'm going to show you how you can start installing applications from the command line, controlling what applications you have. And I'll show you a great command that lets you set up a Mac really quickly. Install all the applications you use like that. We'll see you next Friday on Hands-On Macintosh. If you've got a question for me, email leo at twit.tv. Tell me what you'd like to see on another episode. Tell me your favorite command line command, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll show it uh, in uh, the weeks to come. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Hands on Mac brought to you this week by Hover. I love Hover for registering domains. No matter what you want to build, no matter what business you want to start, there's a domain name waiting for you. You're not limited to just .com, .net. I use a lot of uh, third-party extensions, leo.social, laporte.tech, laporte.coffee. Use a domain name that represents your passion, that represents you. Hover.com slash twit. Go right now. Check it out. 10% off your domain extension. 10% off for the full year. Hover.com slash twit. Thank you, Hover.